In this video, we'll create a user defined exception. Now, what I mean by that is, let's say, let's start with the example. Let's say my I, value of i is a. So I have a variable i here, and the value is 5. And I want to check if my variable value i value is less than 10, then I want to throw an error. Now, how to throw the error? We have to say throw, and we have to pass the object of the exception. So we'll say it is new exception. So this is the instance of exception class. So we can simply specify exception, right? And you can see it says since you are throwing the exception and it becomes a checked exception because you are throwing an error. So this code should be enclosed in try and catch block. So if I say try catch exception e and then here we'll print, we'll say as out the value of e. I'm getting error. Okay, so I missed the catch here. And spelling mistake, my bad. Okay, now so if I just say format to make it look better. Okay, so now I have a try catch and I'm saying it is a catch and it will print the error. So if I run this code now, you can see we are printing an error which is java lang dot exception. But what if I pass a message here, if I say error, if I run this now, you can see we have an exception here and the message we are printing is error, right? That means we should pass a error here or we should pass some string here to print. Now in order to create our own exception, now we are using inbuilt class exception, right? So let's say I want to create my own exception. So for that what we need is we need a class, we'll say my exception class, we'll say my exception class. And since we want to create an exception, that means it should have all the features of exception. We have to say we will fetch some important properties or normally all properties from exception class or all the features. That's it. We, we got our exception here. Now instead of creating, instead of calling exception, we should call my exception. But we my exception don't have a method or constructor which takes a string parameter. So we need to insert a constructor. So we'll say constructor, okay. Okay, we'll type the constructor here. So public my exception, this constructor should accept a string message. It's better to write a message keyword here. We'll write message. A name can be anything, but it should be <coughs> proper. Now, that's it. Now, if I run this, it should work, right? Now, since we are throwing an exception of my exception, we're expecting, we're ex accepting with the help of exception, it will work. If I run this code now, you can say it is my exception, right? But I want to print a message also. I want to print error. The problem is when you want to print something with error, you should call the constructor of exception. Now, how to call the constructor of exception with the, with the help of super method, we can pass message here. So this will call the constructor of exception class. And now if you run this, bingo, we are getting my exception error. Simple. Even you can directly say here my exception, even this will work. And error. So this is how you can create one exception by extending a exception class. In, uh, in fact, you can create multiple exceptions. You can create IO exception. You can create SQL exception. You can create any exception you want. Okay, that's it.